so the grandparents just went back to Denmark and I'm walking a little bit in the forest right now uh, reflecting a little bit on our multilingual journey and I have to say um, I don't regret anything it has been a lot of work sometimes and <clears throat> we have made some sacrifices um, in order to expose our children to the languages that are important to us. But looking back, I wouldn't do it differently. I would do it exactly the same way again, because I think that the outcomes, the, the, the fruits of your labor are very sweet. And if you have the patience to wait and to be pers persistent, it pays off so many times. I feel that every single year I have less and less work to do in terms of languages because the kids become more independent and once they <clears throat> have a well-developed language awareness and they are interested, intrinsically interested and motivated in learning languages, then um, as a parent you don't need to do much anymore because they they, they, they learn on their own, they keep on learning on their own and they, they, they become better at it. And most of all, because of the positive experiences that, that they have been able to um, have with the languages and with the families and friends, they see the value. They see the value of languages and that is very important. So how is it to have a multilingual family? How does it feel? Now fast forward seven years and I have to say it's amazing. I cannot imagine how our lives would have been if we had decided to just raise them in one language and to leave out our family languages. I mean the quality of life that we have today is amazing because we invested the time in teaching our kids our minority languages. Just the fact that they can go on vacations with their grandparents from Switzerland, Danish grandparents and speak fluently and without problems in Danish and do the same thing with Spanish and the fact that they can play with with the cousins, be integrated right away, that is priceless. That is really priceless. Is it easy to raise multilingual children? No. Is it going to be hard at times? Will you want to quit sometimes? Yes, definitely. But the rewards are huge. The rewards are enormous. And your children are going to be thankful one day and are going to be so happy that you decided to keep on going and not quit. So do not quit. Get in there, do your best, and things are gonna come out on amazingly. Children that learn several languages at the same time are so-called emergent multilinguals. They are in that state for, for a long time, for some years. So that means that their languages are not fully developed yet and it's gonna take seven, ten years until they do that. So sometimes I have the feeling that people expect children, also multilingual children, to have their languages developed fully already by the age of six, by the age of eight, or even before. And they uh, uh, then they misinterpret it and say, oh, this child is confused. He cannot speak any of the languages well enough or something like that. And at that point, I just have to say, look, it just takes some time. I mean, if you look fast forward 10 years, the child, if the child keeps on learning, systematically the different languages is going to develop those languages fully and it's going to be amazing so <clears throat> don't get disencouraged if people say something or give you comments like oh it's not so good yet or whatever just keep on going the worst thing you can do is to stop to stop exposing your child to the language because of fear just know that your child is going to make mistakes that your child is going to mix languages that your child is gonna use different strategies to to be able to communicate as good as possible with you and with other people and it's going to take time until your child separates all the languages and uses them 
fluently and without making too many mistakes. So it's a process, it's a learning process and it requires to be uh, very patient and, and to be persistent, most of all. What has been like the hardest thing about raising children in three or more languages? And I have to say that the first years are the hardest because when you have a baby or the baby's not even born yet, you don't know um, what, what strengths or weaknesses your child is going to have. You, you don't know a lot of things. And so the first challenges are, are, are tough. It's, it's a lot to overcome in the beginning. You, you want to make sure that your child starts talking. You, you ask yourself, is this going to work out? Uh, with everything that I have, do I have enough resources? Will my child be able to integrate? Will my child be able to, to talk to the parents and friends? So there are so many questions, open questions. But if you follow proven strategies and you are consistent, then at some point after some years, you, you realize that everything was worth it. And that's what happened to us. We started... <clears throat> raising our children with three languages and one dialect from scratch and 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 I don't regret anything nothing at all um, it was it hard yes what is it sometimes exhausting yes definitely it's it's not easy it's not something that happens automatically it's not something that kids do without effort and sometimes people think that multilingual children become multilingual um, just like that. And that's not true. I mean, they need a lot of exposure. They, you need to have a plan. And to be honest, the last seven, eight years, all our free time and vacation has gone basically um, into visiting family and friends in those languages. So we've invested the time and energy in that because it was important to us. So uh, to raise multilingual children, it, it, it's also important to put priorities, set priorities in your life. You cannot do everything at once. But in our case, that was our, um, we wanted to focus on that. And I have to say, fast forward seven, eight years, it paid off. I mean, um, my daughter, for example, she, she's, she's interested in learning more languages. And I think if, if you're capable of awakening their joy for languages, their understanding for the value of languages, then, then that's very valuable. Because there's just so much you can do as a parent. But in the end, uh, it's your children that have to decide if they want to keep on learning and become lifelong learners or not. And you can, they, they can only do that if they see the value of the languages and they, if they have had in, enough uh, positive experiences with languages. Then the likelihood that they would want to spend more time in their lives uh, learning and, and um, strengthening their, their know-how in those languages is much higher. So, um, yeah, would I, would I do something differently? No, I would do it the same way. Was it easy? No, it was not easy. It is still not easy. But I have the feeling that every year it becomes easier. Because my children have developed um, language awareness. Um, that's like a, it's like a motor for me. Um, if they are if you manage to develop their language awareness <clears throat> they learn faster and easier languages and <clears throat> uh, once they start reading um, they, they can keep on developing their languages through books and audiobooks for example and obviously interactions with real human beings but yes uh, I think the hardest part of it um, were the first years where you just don't know so many things how things are going to turn out after they start talking and they start going to school then you start seeing more or less in what direction it goes and and in many cases just work works out very well if you have a plan if you know what you're doing then there's nothing to be afraid of is there anything good about 
raising multilingual children. Yeah, there is a lot that is amazing about raising multilingual children. Most of all, the fact that you can go to different places in the world and they are just integrated fast, instantly integrated and able to communicate and, and interact with people, friends, cousins, families. That, that's priceless, that's priceless. I mean, the quality of life that you can have uh, is like much higher. I mean, if I look back, if our children had been raised only in Swiss German, uh, I mean, I couldn't even imagine our lives. It would be such a different quality of life. We wouldn't have so many choices and so many rich experiences with family and friends. So actually raising kids in many languages has, has so many advantages, has so many advantages. After you overcome the first big hurdles, I think things can become much easier. So this was Multilingual Family. Um, keep on doing a great job and I'll talk to you soon. My son is going to ski right now and I'm headed towards the place where he is being taught. I want to see how he's doing. The cool thing about learning languages early is that they don't need to go to school to learn the language. You can just send your kids to whatever activity and make sure that the person that is teaching that activity does it in the language that you want, in the target language. For instance, right now my son is in ski school and he is um, going to be there for the whole morning and um, the teacher speaks Swiss German. So that's a very natural and easy way to expose children to, to another language and um, I'm sure that they are going to learn a lot from those experiences. Now if the child doesn't speak the language at all and doesn't understand anything at all, obviously it's going to be a little bit overwhelming. And um, what, what, what you can do then is to expose your child to that activity uh, for a shorter time. For example, the, my, my, my sister-in-law, her son came from Denmark and he doesn't speak German nor um, English. So she decided to put him into class just like one hour or so. Um, so that he gets a little bit of exposure but he's not too overwhelmed and um, <clears throat> because it is hard to be in a class where you don't understand anything and you have to um, you know talk with hands and feet but eventually um, it becomes easier and and it, it is a, a wonderful way to motivate children to also want to be interested in in learning a language because it is a natural setting where, where it is very clear to the children why, why they are speaking a language and why speaking many languages makes sense and is an advantage. <laughs>